Now, the Syrian government has rejected a report by the Global Chemical Weapons Watchdog, the OPCW, which says the Syrian Air Force was behind a chemical weapons attack on the town of Douma in 2018. 43 people were killed in that attack. For more, we're joined by the Syrian journalist and filmmaker Omar al -Muhdad. And Omar, remind us, first of all, of the horrific events which took place back in 2018. Well, thanks for having me back on. And in fact, this is a cat and mouse game that we've been playing with the Syrian regime since uh, 2011. He denied uh, everything that he has done over the last 10 years. Even the Barrel Bombs, bombs attack, Bashar Assad has denied it in, in his interviews, uh, where uh, we have thousands of well documented evidence demonstrate that the Syrian regime has actually. Uh, carried out these attacks against civilian populated areas resulted in killing of thousands of people. And um, the uh, the idea of uh, using chemical weapons attack is also uh, well documented. Uh, in fact, the Syrian regime not just denied it, he blamed it on the Syrian opposition as if to say that the Syrian opposition gassed uh, themselves so they would blame it and blame it on the Syrian regime. That's the kind of logic that we've been uh, dealing with for uh, for the last 10 years. And uh, you can't take any word from uh, the Syrian regime on, on any of these things, because this is the position, the only position that he can take at this point is to deny everything. Why Nothing is... happened. I'm, I'm not the criminal here. Mm. And so on. Why is it important, do you think, for the Assad regime to reject the investigation? Well, because it would show uh, uh, exactly what happened on the ground. It would show how the Syrian regime directed his forces to uh, attack uh, civilian uh, populated areas. And it would uh, put him right away on the rank of war criminals. Uh, and uh, crimes against the humanity being committed. So it is for him, the, the only position, as I said, is to deny all that and to try so hard not to allow any official uh, delegations to go to Damascus and investigate uh, seriously these, uh, the, these attacks and the, the, the killing that he's been doing in the country for the last 10 years. So this is the only position he can take at this point, and they would continue uh, to do so. So for the international community, unless there is a serious efforts to exert serious pressure on this regime to tell him, hey, the game over, mm -hmm. it's time to start a political transition. Uh, otherwise, you would have to face consequences. And this has to be uh, said to his allies, Iran and Russia. And otherwise, we will keep uh, keep 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 just running around mm -hmm. in this uh, circle without reaching any uh, anywhere.